guys, what's going on? Swap Knights here, and welcome back to another video, guys. Today, we're back in Roblox Lumia Legacy for another video. And today, guys, we are checking out some of the secrets about Lumia Legacy that nobody knows, and of course, everything you would want to know about this game, even if it's a small cosmetic thing or useful things that you can actually use inside of the game or all the items where they are. So, guys, let's get right into it with number one. For number one, we're gonna start off at our starter house. I don't think anyone has actually come back to this house after we've left it. So if you actually go inside, uh, there is something that changes if you collect some badges, which is really cool. So if we go all the way to the top and we go to our own room, we see that our own, like, I think, like, I'm calling them badge. I don't know what they're really called in Lumi Legacy, but if you get your badge, they actually are displayed upon this little rack over here. You can see I got the first badge and it is hanging right now over here on this rack, which is super duper cool. So this probably is going to be filled up with all the all the eight badges that are going to be able to be collected before we take on the Roria League, which is going to be absolutely insane. Saying. So that's the one number one on the list. As you guys know that Roria is actually from Pomer Bronze. We're in a sort of different universe. But if we went to Pomer Big Bronze, there actually was a cave over here that we thought was meant to be from Hoopa. But this actually is the same cave which we couldn't enter before because these barricades were blocking off the cave. But this cave actually holds the tablet, which is really cool. Now, of course, interlaced with the Lumion Legacy world of Roria, which is super duper cool. And of course, has some influence on the character that is later on into the video as as well. We're moving on immediately to the house here on the right. This one actually is a one of the hardest things I think right now in Lumi Legacy is because you have to get yourself a gleaming Pokemon or a shiny Pokemon, how I would like to call them. I have one right here. So what you gotta go, you gotta go inside this house and you gotta talk to this lady over here. And this lady will say like, oh, I ever, I really wanted to see a gleaming Lumion. So do you have one? And if, if you have one, she actually will give you a free boost go which is super super awesome and it's super super cool she even gives you some information about the gleaming lumens as well so the, there's actually multiple variations of the gleam gene which is really cool because this alpha gleam and gamma gleam is what people are like thinking about as well because right now i have a alpha gleaming Pokemon so there probably is maybe a variation of a gamma one how to get those I don't know maybe it's luck but that's what we're gonna have to find out in the future so maybe you'll even see a different variation of your gleaming Pokemon so the next secret is gonna be in the laboratory of course if you have never been back in here after you got your start you may be wondering how do I get another starter you can actually go over to this professor over here talk to him and he's like do you want to purchase another of the lab Lumians this actually costs 50 robux but it actually works if you want to get yourself a gleaming starter you can use this guy over here to get yourself a gleaming pokemon i got my gleaming pokemon off this guy over here so that's super super awesome and really cool if you follow the storyline you will actually get yourself a key as well from your parents so if you guys didn't know you can actually go through this door if you got the key and get yourself two of these items which are going to give you some start arms some potions and some uh, capture discs which is really cool and you can use it for adventure. I don't know if it's actually required for you to go through that door if you're doing the storyline. But if you miss the door, go back and get yourself some free items. Okay, so we've arrived on round one. So there's only two secrets on this round. And that's going to be if you actually would talk to this trainer over here. He can actually let you rebattle him if you want to. So if you need some extra training, you can rebattle him. Of course, you can only rebattle him once every time you leave this uh, route. So go through this gate over here and come back if you want to rebattle this guy again. For some extra experience of course along the way be sure to pick up this item you can go just past this fence over here through the grass and get yourself one of these which is pretty useful i, th I don't know if I actually figure out what it holds i think another capture disc but i'm not sure uh but you guys can get this one and get yourself another free item. So we've arrived at Chasma Town. So there's actually a few things in here as well that are pretty cool to know. So actually, if we uh, talk to one of these old ladies over here, she actually says that there's some runes hidden inside of the forest, which we're going to take a look at later. Uh, but we're going to first off start with going to the coffee shop. This Because it's actually going to give us our first ever held item, which we can obtain. So if you go talk to this guy, and he actually gives you a little coffee, which you can put on your book whenever right here uh i it's like it, it gets so it showed over here do we have it in our inventory i think we should 
uh, medicine discs, dodge, pocket items, items. I can take the item right here. So it's called the Kabunga Coffee. If you hold this, you have a chance to regain some energy every single time. So that's really cool, guys. Super useful item. I would re re definitely recommend getting this one and putting it on your Lumion. So we're going to Guild Forest, of course. We're going to check out those runes first that they were talking about. So we actually do not have fully access yet to these runes, sadly. Because we're going to need another Lumi Watch application in the future. They're actually above here. And we're we're gonna have to use this i think this allows us to just like fly upwards and that way we can go up on top and explore the runes but sadly right now at this moment we cannot get this and uh it'll probably come on, on gym 2 gym 3 or whatever it will come in the future but i don't think we can get it right now i have not seen anyone say anything about this so if we go all the way around from the right we will eventually end up in a little circle and we will get over to the place where we need to be for the story Line. So you probably have encountered your first ever uh, corrupted Pokemon, uh, or actually corrupted Lumion over here. But whatever actually happens, if you would complete and continue the storyline and get yourself the first badge, you can get yourself a Lumi app and you can use it on this shadow wall over here. And that will give you a free TM. So you can use this and it says like, it's Mysterious Veil of Darkness. Would you like the stunning flash? It's an application on the Lumi which you can get after the first gym. And then you get yourself this opened and we can get ourselves the item from this chest over here which is the tm which we have over here and that is the dodge ability which super cool guys prepares to dodge and detect that comes through this turn may fail if you use it in a row so that's super awesome and it can maybe help you out if you want to stall some uh turns for poison or whatever it is that you have applied on a Lumion. And so we're going back into Chesma Town. So there's a few things, of course, in the Pokemon School. If you want to know anything about Lumions, then you can just ask in there, like typings and how battles work. I'm not really going to go over all that in there because there's a lot to talk about. You can check it out if you want to. But the big one over here is going to be this guy. It's one of the most important NPCs, I think, right now in the game. Uh, besides getting your badge and this guy actually has a little quest so if you talk to this guy I've actually not completed this yet, but he's like have you ever heard of a Cinemoth? Cinemoth is a third evolution of Cathorn into Propay you guys have probably seen it's like the uh, the Kakuna of this game if you guys have played ever Pokemon um, and if you get this one evolved after that into a Cinemoth he actually will give you some special potions to uh, invest in. So what it actually does is if you complete this quest, which is really, really cool, uh, you actually unlock yourself a paralysis potion and a poison curing potion in the shop. So it's not like you just get a few, you actually unlock them permanently in the shop in the uh, Lumion Sanders or the Pokemon Sanders, whatever you want to call them. So it's super awesome, get you a little cinema. So uh, the first Pokemon is Gather and Gather evolves into a Propay at level 8 and then at level 16 he will evolve into a cinemoth so you have to get yourself the level 60 cinemoth over to this guy and unlock yourself those two potions so now we're going over to route two there's only two things that are very interesting on this route of course another of the the uh, the lumi watch implications for to get up to the top we don't know what's up here guys we cannot really see anything maybe it's just a grass patch for some special pokemon uh or lumians and otherwise is maybe a tm hidden up here but we cannot see sally i wish we could but the final thing guys on this route is going to be this guy over here we can actually rebattle this one as well so if you want to get yourself some extra experience because you cannot take on the next area you can do it and rebattle this guy just go back and forward to this route 3 portal and then you can rebattle them again as many times as you want all right so we've arrived at the route number three so over here guys we have ourselves a few things i'm not gonna walk all the way but if you would go over to the right over here walk over this bridge walk over that bridge at the end of the bridge will be another item box and that will give you another of the lumi boost coins we right now would have two if you would have a gleaming pokemon if you not wouldn't have never had a gleaming pokemon before and get it from the chest you have your first ever one of course if you want to use these coins you can go over to the lumi boost area over here in the top right which is pretty pretty awesome and then you can use them on whatever you want uh, like 50 minutes off times 16 gleaming encounters corrupted roaming Pokemon increase for 10 minutes experience gain for 20 or 30 minutes of extra training points which is like EVs in this game super easy and super super awesome so uh, I would recommend using your if you have only one coin use it on the gleaming encounters and otherwise I would use double coins on roaming and and on gleaming guns together just because you can get like so many cool pokemon from that experience you get anyway just takes a little bit more time and trading points right now i don't think that uh, they are that useful because 
training and battling is not really in here against other players. We'll be coming in like one or two weeks, so that's gonna be awesome. Uh, but at this moment, it's not useful at all. So you can see the box over here, but we have two things we want to check out. And it's gonna be another one over here. It's another trainer you can rebattle as many times as you want. For this one, I would recommend rebooting your game if you want to camp this one. Because she's quite far away from a reset because it's all the way in the cave or all the way in the city if you've not completed the first gym. So I want to quickly go over to the, uh, the cave over here. Because I think it's pretty cool, because uh, at the start if you've come here for the first time and maybe you're pretty stuck on what to do if you defeat the first team, you actually have to go to this cave to receive your upgraded Lumi Watch. Uh, application which is for the flesh you can actually go inside of this cave then after the first gym battle which is awesome because like at the start they actually don't allow you to go in here and it's called the golf night cave which has some super powerful crystals which are used to upgrade your lumi watch so super awesome and be sure to use it as well and get yourself that application because otherwise you can't even clear the dark shadow on the gale forest area oh yes we have arrived in the last city of course the city of the first gym so, what kind of secrets do we have here? It's only a few actually, but it's actually some really, really, really interesting ones. So one of them, of course, is of course this area over here. Because if you talk to this guy, it says that this district was mostly undeveloped until recently. So probably in the future, this as well is going to maybe open up. And we're going to be able to go to a different city, maybe using a train or using cars ourselves. Because this, of course, is a huge part of the city behind, beyond here. And maybe that will open up eventually. Of course, after that, we have ourselves this area over here. Here, which is the first battle arena or gym whatever you guys want to call it this of course it gives you the first gym badge which you're gonna need to progress to the rest of the game so it's not really easter egg or like secret but still something that you, maybe if you missed it or if you just recently got to this area and didn't explore it yet this is what you need to do as well after this is only one more really big thing there's actually a lot of house in here but none of them really have anything interesting that you guys need to know besides this one and this one is the final one and it's the biggest one in my opinion and then we're going to check out after of course one more secret item because there's a secret item behind here and it gives you an advanced disc if i remember correctly so that's pretty cool it gives you like a uh uh, this to capture more Pokemon, but it's actually the next tier, which you can't even buy yet, I'm pretty sure, from the health center. Because if we check over here at the uh, goods, they don't allow you to get yourself the second tier of capture disc. So it's actually kind of interesting that you can get one, but you can't even buy a one for now. As well, one big thing is if you didn't notice yet, so you can buy yourself an ace disc, which is a master ball, which is another secret little thing. Is if you didn't use the shop yet, you can actually buy master balls right at the start. You can buy them from the first time you actually encounter a uh, Lumion Center. So that's pretty awesome. There are 50 Robux each and have a 100% catch rate on any Lumion in the game. So I would definitely recommend buying one or two of them just in case you come across a shop. Tiny Lumion or something like that because you definitely want to one hit catch them. So of course we have Route 4 which is going to be is right now under construction by the time I'm making this video. Maybe of course this has changed by the time you're watching this video. Uh, so there will not be any secrets from Route 4 and onward because it doesn't exist yet. Just wanted to make it clear that it doesn't exist in the game for us yet while I'm making this video. And in case you guys are asking like why is Route 4 not in here Route 5 or 6 or 7? It's because it wasn't out by the time I'm making this video. So the final thing guys is going to be in here. This actually is a very big thing. And this is something we uh, want to see in the near future. And this guy actually is a little bit like we had in Pokemon Bronze. And it means that we are going to be able to get ourselves our own apartments. Which is super awesome. So we're going to be able to get ourselves housing. Which is really cool if you guys remember housing from Brick Bronze. Uh, then we're able to get that in here. So you're going to buy yourself your own apartments. Right now at the moment of course it's not implemented yet. But it will be coming probably pretty soon because it's in the game it's super awesome i'm super excited for that when that will be coming in the future as well one last note guys trading training and the battles of course are going to be coming really soon as well to the game of lumion legacy so if you guys really want to do some battles against each other or you really wanted to trade your favorite pokemon or maybe even trade a double shiny you have to your friend you can do that very very soon guys probably will be coming next week or at least we'll see some very big teases so that's going to be absolutely ridiculous so guys i think to be honest that's everything there is for secrets in Lumi Legacy up to this point. Of course, if I missed anything, let me know in the comment section down below. I'll be sure to pin if I see some really big things. I've talked to literally every single NPC, so I'm pretty sure I didn't miss anything. But if I still did, guys, be sure to tell me as well. 
If you guys, of course, probably gonna say like Jake, yes, guys, in the uh, game, if you go to the cave the first time, actually, Jake will be there from Pokemon Break Bronze. So be sure that you guys are checking it out as well. I didn't really include it as a secret because you just come across it anyway if you see it. So, but it's actually Jake from Break Bronze that was teleported to Hoopas Teleportal at the end of the game which is absolutely insane so we can finally see jake in here which is really awesome he doesn't say he's jake or whatever but we just know that it is jake so jake is actually in pokemon lumion legacy i know i call it pokemon it's just pokemon it's just like we're not allowed to call pokemon or robux but it's just pokemon but lumion legacy guys jake has returned absolutely awesome so guys if you guys did enjoy this video of course smash that like button down below right now of course subscribe if you're new ding that notification button down below guys we'll be out of peace for more lumion legacy videos and of course we should stay tuned to the next one because i have some really big videos planned for lumion legacy so guys take care love you bye thanks so much for watching and of course Take care, guys.